Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Mendelson from Eye Surgeons and Consultants in Hollywood, Florida. Today, I would like to talk about CRVO. That stands for Central Retinal Vein Occlusion. Unfortunately, of the things that can affect the eye, CRVOs tend to be among the most devastating. What happens is an individual can have excellent eyesight day after day after day, and then like the snap of a finger, all of a sudden, a dramatic drop in vision. So I'm going to show you on the screen in just a moment. I had a 60-year-old patient. She's been my patient for a very long term, both eyes seeing a beautiful 2020. She came in complaining all of a sudden her right eye, the vision plummeted. And of course, she was extremely concerned. She came in for an evaluation. So I'm going to show you, first of all, on the left screen, this is her eye that's nice and healthy, seeing perfect 2020. There's the nerve, the optic nerve, healthy arteries, healthy veins, and the crucial central portion called the macula. Her macula is beautifully healthy, nice and clear. And again, she's seeing perfect 2020 as she always has in the past. But her right eye, in contrast, it looks totally red in the background. The clinical appearance is almost if someone took a tomato and whipped it against the wall and the tomato splattered. That is actually blood filling up the back of her eye, a tremendous quantity of blood. It's a little bit hard to tell, but the veins are very engorged. But also what you'll see is there are white spots. These white spots are referred to as cotton wool patches. Now, white spots or cotton wool patches do not mean that it has to be a central retinal vein occlusion, but basically what happens is when you have the picture of a lot of blood all the way around, engorged vessels, cotton wool patches, that is very characteristic of central retinal vein occlusion. So, let me just continue about the cotton wool patches for a moment. There are many things where one can get them, but in all cases, it's the eye saying, hey, there's major problems. Those white spots are actually caused by leakage of axoplasmic fluid from the retinal nerve fibers. Now, we can get the cotton wool patches in diabetics with diabetic retinopathy, we can get it with lupus. We can get it with many types of cancers. We can get a branch retinal vein occlusion, central retinal vein occlusion. But again, the underlying theme, if we see these white patches, the eye is saying something very wrong is going on. You better pay attention or the eyesight is going to plummet. So going back to this patient. So this is a central retinal vein occlusion. So what happened? Here is a model of the eye. In the back of the eye, we have the nerve called the optic nerve. Traveling along with the optic nerve is the central retinal artery and the central retinal vein. So you have those three going together, optic nerve, central retinal artery, central retinal vein, going together into the eye. Now, as they enter the eye, it's actually a tight space. That tight space, it's hard to see. I'm actually going to put the model eye down for a second, but let's pretend I'm going to exaggerate that the nerve, the artery, the vein are about that thick. But as they enter the eye, it's in very cramped quarters and they have to squeeze into a narrower space called the lamina cribosa. The lamina cribosa is a sponge-like material. Those three structures go through the eye but a central retinal vein is a thrombosis at that level of the lamina cribosa. Now, there can be a large spectrum for central retinal vein occlusions. This is the more serious, where it's an ischemic, where the vision dropped. Unfortunately, this sweetheart patient could not even see the big E on the chart. She was legally blind in her right eye. The left eye again seeing perfect 2020. 
Now, there are some people who are more fortunate. There's just a little bit of bleeding, and with less bleeding, it's a better prognosis. So why does this happen? There are five most common reasons for this happening. One is hypertension. Number two, arteriosclerosis, smoking, diabetes, and glaucoma. Now, she's been a long-term patient of mine. She's not a smoker. She's not a diabetic. She does not have glaucoma. So it means it's either the hypertension or arterial sclerosis, which again happen to be the two most common causes. So I sent her immediately to her primary care physician for a crucial medical evaluation. Now, the actual central retinal vein occlusion itself, in her case, being so devastating, there's nothing really that can be done to bring back the vision. However, having said that, there's still a treatment that's performed, and I'm going to explain in detail. Whether it's a mild central retinal vein occlusion, a moderate, or a severe one like this patient had, what happens is the eye tries to respond, tries to do a good thing. What it does is it releases what's called VEGF, VEGF. It's vascular endothelial growth factor. By secreting the VEGF, or the vascular endothelial growth factor, the eye causes new capillaries to grow in. So this eye is saying, hey, I'm, I'm hypoxic, I'm having terrible problem. It creates the substance for new blood vessels to grow in, but that's a colossal mistake. It makes the bleeding even worse. So what happens is there is a treatment. It's called intravitreal injections. There is a shot, like a flu shot, given to the back of the eye and into the vitreous gel, a substance is released called anti-VEGF that tries to inhibit that vascular endothelial growth factor. Now, why is this done? In the patients, no matter what the spectrum of central retinal vein occlusion, many times, in fact, maybe even 50% of the time, months later, the patient can develop something called neovascular glaucoma. This is a really severe type of glaucoma where the eye becomes painful, red, and difficult to treat. So in her case, it's bad enough that the right eye probably will never see well again, but now her future is fraught with the neovascular glaucoma possibility, which is about 50-50. So doing that intravitreal injection will hopefully decrease the chance of neovascular glaucoma. Now, for those people who have a more mild central retinal vein occlusion, that shot becomes increasingly important to help clear up the swelling and also the bleeding. So the bottom line is there are medical conditions, the hypertension, arterial sclerosis, that can have a devastating effect. But again, there are other things like smoking, diabetes, but even glaucoma itself. And uh, so that's central retinal vein occlusion. Thank you very much.